Hi there. It's good to be here again to serve you with this week's edition of the weekly Premium Times podcast. Titi Lopwe Fadari is your host. The thunder of Asu is about to strike again, barely a year after the university academic staff called off a nine-month-long strike, the union has hinted they want to strike again. This is in spite of the release of 55.5 billion naira by the Nigerian government towards fulfilling parts of the contents of the Memorandum of Action signed with the union. Asu said the release is paltry of the billions of naira of old revitalization funds and earned academic allowance. The union also said it wants the government to immediately end the Integrated Personnel and Payroll Information System, IPPIS, for universities and sign the renegotiated agreement document completed in May 2021. It accused the government of killing university education by closing its eyes to the welfare of those affected members. Labor Minister Chris Ingige, the VI boy, said, Asu's position was ill-timed. Nigerian schools can go on strike for all the wish. Buhari's kids are not in them, neither are the children of most political leaders. In what was arguably the most ridiculous release of all time, the singer Adamu Ayuba released a song in praise of bandit kingpin evil genius Belo Tsuji. The about 14 minutes long song was rendered in Hausa by the Erin Ayuba while some female backup hailed Tuji as a hero among heroes. To them, a hero is one who is responsible for the killings and displacement of hundreds of residents, one of which was the December 6 massacre of travelers who were burnt alive in the bus in which they were commuting in Isa local government area of Sokoto State. The same killjoy today from Shinkafi in Zamfara State is believed to have usurped the authority of the federal, state and local governments. The Sokoto Sultanate, the Shinkafi Emirate in Zamfara State and all the districts and village heads under them. Today's gang blocks roads, sacks markets, seizes food and any material he fancies and kills anyone who resists. The letter to Mr. Buhari reads in part, Who are these singers? Who parented these things? I mean, can't they see? Understandably, thinking may be hard, but it is not bad to try hard. In the midst of these, President Muhammad Buhari, in a message, is away in Istanbul, Turkey, for the third Turkey-Africa Partnership Summit, hosted by the President of the Republic of Turkey. There, he marked his 79th birthday. There was cutting of cake, molded in national colors, green, white, green, and merrymaking. If only Buhari could bring such joy to the lips of many Nigerians. But the president has shown that he can be anything but a leader that shows empathy. Well, he said after his tenure, in 2023, he would go home to tend to his cows. It's understandable. Cows don't require so much empathy as humans. There would be less complaints. Good luck, Mr. President. He also said he will continue to do his best that is possible to advance the interests of the nation and its people and carry out duties as prescribed by the Constitution. One of the five points agenda of the NSAS is about to be fulfilled. The Nigerian government has approved new allowances for the police that would see the take-home of pay of police personnel increase by at least 20% effective from January 2022, according to the Police Affairs Minister. The government also approved the sum of 1.2 billion naira for the payment of outstanding allowances, the review of police duty tour allowance to 6%, and as well as tax waiver for junior police personnel to take effect from October 2021. Hopefully, this will mend the already solid reputation of the Nigerian police force, which suffered more blues, and both side extortion and trigger happiness will stop. Nigeria, please, be the people's friend that you really should be.
In other news, Nigerians, Ivorians, and Malians approximately require a week's worth of work to afford the internet, according to a recent report by Surfshark, an Amsterdam-based cyber security company. Despite this, internet quality in the aforesaid countries stands at the lowest end of the index, meaning you have to work long hours to afford data, yet you don't get quality. Nigerians in particular have to work 35 hours, 33 minutes to afford the cheapest broadband package. Yet, Nigeria has one of the slowest broadband internet networks globally, 13.4 megabits per second, ranking 105 out of 110 index countries and 96 in worst mobile networks, that's 17.91 megabits per second. I need not say how browsing can be frustrating sometimes. You all must have experienced it one time or the other. As always, this edition was written by Yusuf Akinkwelu. I am Titi Lokwe Fadari. See you next week and please do not forget if you like this podcast, please share and favorite and also kindly visit www.premiertimesng.com to catch the latest edition of this podcast series.